Good afternoon, this is Jilly Q from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, doing a pour for you today. Um, it's kind of a mystery one, I'm just going to do a free, a free style, should I call it. Um, it's going to be a cup pour. So I think I would like, maybe I need a bigger cup. So I might be trying it with this big candy colour candy colour cup. Um, I'm doing it on a 50 uh, centimetre by 40 centimetre canvas and I am going to try something just a little bit different whether it comes out or not so I'm just gonna um, go just play it by ear and um, see what we get at the end of it. It's kind of been, um, I'll start with coating my, actually maybe I should start with filling my cup. Yes, that may be the go. Okay, so I have got all my su suppliers and my um, links to my Facebook art page and our acrylic pouring group on Facebook are underneath, suppliers are underneath, um, beginners video links are underneath, so there's everything there in the drop down box underneath my video. If you're on a TV, I don't believe you can get that information, you'd have to go onto a laptop I think. But yes, it's all there, so I've got all the info. That's the gold and the suppliers links and this is orange. They're all Montmartre paints. I just want to keep going with this and not say too much about it in case it turns out completely the opposite to what I'm hoping. So that's white. Hopefully it's a quick video for you all. This is the um, silver. I know that lots of people say you know when they haven't got time they just like to get their fix on their acrylic pouring videos and have quick videos so I'm trying to fit in quick video you know a couple of quick videos at least in the week for people that don't want or <laughs> um, prefer not to have long videos uh, where we go back to just add in a bit of this yellow that went and had a black blob in it so it's kind of turned into a dirty yellow but I'm just going to use the last of it up in there see how we go this is kind of a mixture of these I can't that I can't sort of give you it is a mixture of uh, the Montmartre poster paints mixed with my normal pouring medium plus the um, uh, Montmartre Studio Acrylic so it is a bit of a mix of both but I just thought I'm just going to use these paints up in something that I just wanted to try and when I've been doing my tests the last week and some of them have turned out okay then I kind of kicked myself because I hadn't got my camera rolling and lots of you said oh that would have been good if you could have filmed that so it might turn into a baddie or it might be a goodie. Let's just see how we go with it. Go back to my gold. So okay, those are the paints poured into this quite large cup. Don't ask me how many ounces because I have no idea. Um, I'm going to cover my whole canvas and it's, this is kind of a black blue. I don't very often do straight black. I always add the dark, uh, darkest blue, phalo blue to it. So it's, it actually makes it a blacker black than um, anything. So I always like to do that because I think that black can dry, dry pretty uh, bland. But anyway, that's just, anyhow, that's just my crazy thing belief so it's just poured the black all over the canvas flooded the canvas as they say 
I don't know all the different terms that they use. It's just covering the canvas. You can do it. You could spread it out with your fingers, which I love doing because you can cover your sides quite easily that way too. Um, you can tilt it around, but I don't worry too much about my edges till the end. Some some works I do, and some I don't. So it just depends. So obviously I'm trying to do quicker video every, you know, like I said, just a few for those that like short videos. But I suppose I should do some just ones without speaking, just a couple a week where it's just music to them because some people say they like that. But as my husband says to me when I say, oh, I think I need to do this or I need to do that, he just reminds me that you can please some of the people some of the time, but you can't please all of the people all of the time. So I suppose that's the wisest words, is you just try your best. And I just want to keep enjoying my art, otherwise it's just not worth me even doing videos if I'm not enjoying what I'm doing. So that's, that's what it all boils down to, I suppose, your enjoyment. And that's what you guys have got to just don't worry about what anybody says or thinks of you or gives you instructions to do. You just do what you feel gives you joy. If your paint work doesn't work out, you know, it's just paint. Just, just, um, scrape it. Okay, I've done that with a can. Now, this is the problem when you have these uh, cardboard cups they're not very stable they can so this is not the best thing to do I'm putting this in the center here and I want to kind of do a split I want to you're basically doing a split cup pour but with the one cup so I'm just going to try it guys and we'll see how we go coming out more through one side than the other. Having to do this with two hands because I cannot keep hold of it. It's kind of like a waterfall pour, isn't it? But having that um, spatula, uh, spatula in the centre or lolly stick or whatever you call them, sort of giving that kind of stem effect down the center Ooh. that dark the the darker color is the gold it sort of looks when it's on the canvas like that like it's um a yucky baby poo brown but it's actually the gold and does dry quite nicely <gasps> oh my gosh oh my gosh that is a weird one but let's just um, <laughs> see what comes of this wow well, that is weird anyway. I'm trying to do a quicker pour for you, so let's see how this goes when it's given a little bit of a... I mean, maybe I should have just leave it for a little bit of time to develop. Remember, this is a mix of acrylic and poster paint, so there is no um, guarantee of how it's going to come out at all. Just trying to tip it a bit slowly so as it gives it time. I do want that negative space on it otherwise it's a bit pointless isn't it? Pouring, flooding it with the black and not having any black showing. So I think I'll leave that negative space at the top. Just work with this down here. That is a lot of paint. Okay. Wow. 
I'm not saying anything about it at this point in time. It was just a bit of a different way of pouring from the cup. Um, I'm going to give it a little bit of my heat torch on there. I could blow a bit of that out with my mini blower. I suppose that would look nice. It's... Um, I'm not saying anything about it. Let you guys... Um, kind of a weird one I think but you know you just try something different and my wonder wand maybe if I get this close enough I might be able to blow slightly with that there you go Okay guys, that's it. I'm leaving it. I, this will further develop. It's come up with some amazing lacing through that negative space. I'm going to leave it. I'm sure that this will take on a whole different line. And this that looks kind of like a yucky brown is actually gold. So I'm sure that when it's dry, it's going to really pop. I will add photos of the dry results. Um, there will be I will try and post them, oh, well I will post them on my Facebook art page as well, the dry photos of it. So what do you think guys, a yay or a nay, a little bit different, it's got some kind of organic feel to it like rocky, having this bit of a blowout in the negative space, kind of looks a bit wild but you know, go with the flow, Joe and um, see what you get you know it's it's really nice to have something surprise you and I can basically guarantee this will dry completely different and form a whole life of its own so there you go that was just pouring with the stick down the center of your cup but I probably would advise you use a cup that isn't such an unstable one as that one was but there you go quickie uh, stay uh, on for the photos at the end thank you guys for joining me if you haven't subscribed please do so i appreciate it and it's absolutely free bye for now